Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last video, we have seen how to use tags. So if I will show you in this feature, we have seen how we can use tags on feature level or in scenario level and how we can target a specific that tags define in any feature only. Right now in this video, what we are going to see, see there are instances where what happened, you will have a QA environment, you have dev environment. You have same steps to perform, but your test data might be different in different environments. There are some certain scenarios that might, you know, you might, you know, come across. So what we can do in, in that case, should we write a complete another, you know, feature itself with a different set of data, or we can use the same steps just to change the data based on the environment. So I think, you know, writing again the written code is not a good idea. What we can do, one approach that I am aware of, that suppose just take I'm taking an example of this application where I have just a normal login page here so this is just a login page now I don't have here in this application environment where I can show you multiple environments how to do but just imagine that I have this one this as a queue environment and suppose there are uh, there is another dev environment as well for this login page and I have two set of different users for different environment for suppose for a QA we have one and for dev we have another user to log in right and that two set of data you can pass here so this this test case was created as part of default test generated in the beginning when we have created the framework so what we are going to do we'll tag this example with a different environment name and then we will say that if it's a dev environment then run this and if it's a QA environment pass this not run this if it's a dev pass this data if it's a QA pass this data so we will be able to control based on tag name we will define which test data to pass in which environment right so first let's just try to execute only this and see what happens and after that we will try to change uh, based on the data so i am going to add one tag here okay login feature this is login feature though it's not a very meaningful name but yeah i'm just because i need to you know i, I don't want to run all the you know step different all the feature file i want to run only this feature file now in the last video we have already seen how to target specific tag right so now we can go to configuration and we have cucumber ops section when it says cucumber ops dot and then tag expression and equal to your tag name in a single or double quote now for that i want to run only this login tag right so let's paste that here so now what it will do it will run first it will try to run all but we are in a specific runtime we are changing the tag expression of this configuration file at runtime so you need to say hyphen hyphen again space hyphen hyphen this object name cookops dot inside that that property we have right tag expression and change the value at runtime from command line like this so let's now what it will do it will try to find in all this feature file whichever feature is having this login tag it will run that so as of now in this only this feature is having and this should run this scenario now we have discussed in the previous videos itself that though it's a three step we have example with two set of data okay so it will run three step twice that will be six step as of now we are running the complete feature itself so let's run this and see how it works and after that we'll see how we can change you know segregate the data based on the environment and it will perform login twice one with valid one another with invalid data valid is done invalid data and it will validate the machine right so now the steps are passed and if you notice it executed three step first with first username and password this username and a password and it validated this message and then next it it entered with this this username and this password and it validated this text here right so now when we executed it ran all now just imagine that this this one is for our dev environment and this is for QA environment data now we need to segregate and we need to mention so what we'll do i'll copy this example table and the headers only and i'll press enter here and create a new table right so now our example table will be two example table we need to have right 
and let me right click and format it all right now we have two example one with this user another with this user and let's tag this okay in uh, example so i'll tag this as dev and this as ua now what we are saying that we somehow we need to target in a way that whenever i i mention a dev tag it should take it should run this step but it should log in with this user but when i say with qa it should try to log in with this user in that way if you have different environment we will be able to change the test data this is the test data from the tag itself right so now let's see uh, if it is working or not now i don't need this login but let's keep it now what i'll say i'll when i'll run i'll mention just dev so i'll say now instead of here i'll say dev or add the dev add the dev right yes trying to open and it should perform only one login not two right entered and close you see so when we have passed the dev environment now with the example table it ran only one scenario that means though we have a scenario outline and we have multiple example table it targeted only this data not the qa username and password right so in this way we can change the test data based on your tag name for different environments correct you, you see right it is whatever we have defined for dev this user and password this is what it is taking and if you want to run in qa now with the same step in a qa you want to target this all you have to say is qa and it will run in this now it this time it will try with this and let's see how it goes let it execute so it's trying to open the application now and it should log in with the another data which we have passed in qa and yeah you see it entered that user and validated it and let's just cross check here so now it passed and it entered this username and this password which we have targeted for the QA. So we ran this command. We said run in QA and it took the QA data only, which we are assuming it's a QA data. We don't have environment to show, but yeah. When we say dev, it took only this data. When we say QA, it took only this data for the similar step. So now in this way, you don't have to write multiple steps or you don't have to you know maintain a separate any other sources and all. We can just target. With simple cucumber uh, tags itself we can change the different uh, data for different environments so that's it with the video next video we will see how we can manage multiple environment and change the environment so as of now we have seen how to change the test data for different environment now suppose you have a dev and queue a different environment and you need to maintain all those environment in in somewhere and then change the environment at runtime so we'll see that in the next video. Thank you so much.